about women. Oh. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and this is how we can empower the woman. Do you need translation? Yeah, this lady needs translation. Yes. <laughs> So this is uh, primarily our medical board. There is a number of doctors that are doing research uh, for uh, uh, this technology. The doctors are in Europe, in the United States, in Canada, uh, uh, South America, Mexico, India, and several different countries. And uh, this is uh, how we started, basically. We started with a pacemaker. And uh, the uh, uh, same people who did the pacemaker, they invented uh, the first signaling technology. This you have to explain. So I started with a pacemaker, it took him about 27 years to create a signal that is the same as the signal of the motor nerve. And this is the first signaling technology. Pacemaker is the first signaling technology. The pacemaker replaced the signal of uh, the uh, pacemaker cells, the heart. It makes the heart to beat. And this one gets the motor nerve to exercise you and give you a contraction. It's like an exercise. And this is all the certification. It has FDA, it has ISO, and it has uh, CE, of course. And what it can offer you? Flat belly, like this. It can offer you six packs for the men. OK, you want six packs. In your age, you're not going to be able to do six packs in the gym. But if you come here to the Valen, we can give you six packs. And basically, it's going to give you the confidence so you can compete with anyone at any time, at any age. And um, basically, how does it give you the fitness and the stamina and the high energy? This is what it gives you. Fitness, stamina, high energy, and of course it slims you and shapes you. So one treatment is like a month of exercise in the gym. One treatment. You do 144 different exercises a thousand times. And this is something you need to remember to explain, okay? 144 exercises a thousand times without the pain the next day. And while you exercise, you maintain a full contraction that lasts eight seconds. So basically your grandma can come here and work out at the same rate as a professional athlete that has invested all his life in the gym. This is uh, basically how it gives you the energy because if when you go to the, the gym, you basically run out of oxygen and when you run out of oxygen the body doesn't burn as much and it does not produce as much collagen okay so here because you don't run out of oxygen you keep producing energy so you end up with a lot more energy and this is just mathematics you see you know you only produce two molecules of energy when you have lactic acid Oxygen produces 38. So obviously here, it's gonna be a far more energy production than when you go to the gym. Because in the gym, you have the lactic acids and that does not produce that much energy. And this is Roman Open. We started this technology that we have inside there. We started it with this particular um, player, he had a nasty foot injury, he could not play, and after we did this technology for the first time, he could move his leg, 
and of the mobility, and then he played for the San Diego Chargers and the, the, uh, the New York Giants. All NFL has uh, adopted this technology. A lot, a lot of players have bought the technology for themselves. And uh, this is what it does. You see, it goes to the nerve, okay, it targets the nerve, and from the nerve expands, and to si simulates exercise, expands everywhere into the other nerves, and in response, the nerves transfer it all the way to the brain, as they're firing, with this firing, and all of this will end up in, uh, throughout the nervous system, it's gonna reach the brain. The brain will respond the way it responds during exercise, so it's gonna start releasing hormones. So your insulin, the insulin, the people have insulin resistance, that's gonna be reduced. Your metabolism is going to increase and your fat cells are gonna shrink. And as you're burning the fat, you're going to create energy. So people say, where did the fat go? It, it got burned, the way you burn a piece of paper. Because you lose up to five, six, seven, nine cm. You lose a lot of cm. Come in. Come, come. Take a seat. So, so far what I have said is that uh, this technology is like exercises. It increases your hormones, increases your hormones. It makes you fit. One treatment is like a month at the gym. You do 144 exercises a thousand times. And this exercise lasts for eight seconds. So if your grandpa can come here and that big visceral fat that he has, he can get rid of it. And nothing else can get rid of the visceral fat. So this is how it started. Basically, it's very different than a muscle stimulator. A muscle stimulator causes like reflexes. This one goes through your brain and causes a full contraction the way it is happening in the gym. And our technology, this is the waveform in our technology. It's a complex waveform that has 4,000 frequencies. And this is the waveform of a muscle stimulator that it has a lot of noise. It's not a signal anyway. And this is basically Nobel Prizes and how this technology was introduced. And now you, what you're gonna see, more and more Nobel Prizes are, are about signaling technology and how different cells signal to each other. And um, now, initially with the Nobel Prizes, then people started thinking, can we actually unboil an egg? And everybody's gonna say, no, we cannot unboil an egg. And the truth is that actually we can, because when you boil an egg, like in radio frequency, basically, you boil the skin, right? But you can undo that, you can repair that by basically folding the proteins. So you can actually unboil an egg by folding the proteins, and that has a, a very, important message for cancer and anti-aging, okay? So this is uh, the Nobel Prize that came out of that, and with signaling molecules were found to be associated with how you can do that. You can actually reverse aging. You can actually reverse cancer by refolding proteins that have been unfolded. And that's just the, uh, the uh, Nobel Prize uh, the uh, actual, the, uh, you know, the press release from the Nobel Prize. Uh, these two doctors found that through signaling, through eliminating certain responses of the immune system by kind of uh, taking the break off, basically, the immune system will attack the cells and will kill cancer. This is the Nobel Prize 2008. Uh, so this is one of the technologies that Lavalent offers, and it's exclusive in uh, Lavalent clinics, only in Lavalent clinics in Indonesia. Nobody else has it. And what it does, this is a keloid scar, and this is the after, after four treatments. Keloid scar. So if you have a keloid scar, this is the place. 
Nobody else can do that. This is from here. This is from Indonesia. It's a uh, patient of uh, Lina's patient. Emporium. At the Emporium, yeah. The one treatment, 15 minutes before and after, stretch marks. This is also another patient. It's hard to see it on uh, the, um, with a projector because it distorts, but you can see it's, it's quite a big difference. And that's again, 15 minutes, one treatment. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you have more treatments, you're gonna have a much better results. But this is something that we can do that nobody else can do in Indonesia. It's exclusive. Uh, that's another patient, again, Lina's patient. I brought all of the Indonesian pictures. So you see, this is people that you probably know. You know, this is probably your friends, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so this, uh, you see the difference between before and after. A huge difference, yeah? Uh, this oh, is wow. a, a before and after uh, from Hong Kong. This guy had 10 treatments. And it also does hair. You can also introduce it in the hair salon, actually. You know, it does take longer for the hair. It takes two to three months to increase hair, but it does increase hair. And you can see the difference of this guy. And you can speak to him. He, he has the machine himself. Uh, this is the before and after for the hair. That's uh, six treatments, but it just, it takes long. You're not gonna see the difference immediately. But after three, four months, you're gonna see a difference. Uh, that's uh, before and after again for hair. And before and after for hair. Now we're gonna get into the next technology, the one that we, uh, this gentleman is doing a treatment right now. This is the technology that Christy was talking to yes. you about. <laughs> uh, and um, what this technology basically works on this part. The problem, with, look, this gentleman there, right? If your belly is, is hard right now, right? If you touch it, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. That means you have visceral fat under your muscles. That visceral fat wraps itself around the organs and enters them, invades them. And what happens? You get fatty liver. And what happens? Your life gets shortened, all right? So this is not a beauty concern for you. This is a health concern for you. And this is something that you should do for yourself because what else are you gonna do? Anything else that you do is probably making things worse, like going out and eating. <laughs> you know, it makes things worse. This one will help you get rid of the fatty liver. It will take a lot of treatments. It's not gonna happen in two treatments or three. Sometimes it takes 10 times, sometimes it takes 15, sometimes it takes 20 times but it will happen. And we have seen this in sonogram reports. And we have done several studies. I'm, I'm publishing two studies right now, and they're both related to this technology and studies that we have done. Uh, this is what visceral fat looks like. This is what you look like inside. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want that. This is very dangerous. And this is what your liver looks. This is Look at this, that's the fatty liver. How can a liver like this function? If you have a liver like that, you need, if you have fatty liver, you should be here doing the treatment. Not, to, not for the beauty, but for the future of your life. It's very important. And unfortunately, the visceral fat, there's nothing else in the world that can do that. Exercise can, but at a certain age, you need to exercise so strenuously, it's impossible to get rid of this of fat, okay? But this one, exercise you so intensely, <coughs> you can do it here, okay? And of course, if you work out in the gym with this of fat, you guys are not gonna get this at your age, you're gonna get this, okay? So that is not what you want, right? You can get flat, stomach and six packs, but a lot of treatments, okay? Now, one of the chief, the problem with overtraining in the gym is that as your, uh, you stress yourself out, right? Come and sit down. Okay, okay. Um, 
Okay, so as your testosterone, the testosterone, when, as, when you're stressing yourself out, it's okay, it's okay. As you're stressing yourself out, your cortisol is going up and your testosterone is going down. So when your cortisol is up and your testosterone is down, you're gonna stop putting on weight. Okay? And basically, you're gonna end up like this, even though you're exercising. So exercising is a waste of your time because when you're over-exercising, your cortisol increases, your testosterone decreases, and then you're back to square one. This is uh, a study that uh, Dr. Pollock did, and you can see this technology does not increase cortisol. And of course, we've done a study on hormones and we found that it increases uh, the thyroid hormone, T3, and it also decreases cholesterol. And that's the study that I'm publishing right now. We did another study and we found, we saw the same thing in MRIs. And you can see the MRIs here. Before and after the reserve fat. And this is the increase of the muscle mass after in the MRI, before and after. That's 12 treatments. And we had 19 subjects. Here, what you see, do you see here fatty liver before, no fatty liver afterwards? That's what happens, and this is the before and after, of course, but that's what happens with this technology, and we have seen it in some of them. That's another patient before and after, and you can see the insulin has significantly improved. So your diabetic status will go down. There is a gadget that measures diabetes, mm -hmm. you know, you can get that if you have diabetic patients, you can do it before and after, you're gonna see immediate after the treatment. So that's something to show to the patient as well. Uh, this is uh, from here, before and after, just one treatment. That's also from here, before and after, one treatment from, this is Lena's patient. Uh, this is in Hong Kong. Actually, you cannot, you, if you see this in my computer, I think it's a little distorted here, you're gonna see an amazing difference. Um, it, I think it's kind of distorted over there. You cannot see the before and afters as well. Um, that's again, that looks bigger to me, it, it, but if you see it on the computer, it's, uh, if you see over here, you can see it. It goes like this, and that goes like this. Uh, you did it yesterday. Yeah. And it was a huge difference. Yes. And we could say, you can have a 6 cm. Can I tell them? Yeah, um, actually, that's my, the, the first, uh, the first experience is actually um, quite, uh, uh, at first it's a bit awkward because it's like something like, you know, a uh, virus in my tummy. But then, um, I'm very skeptical with machine at first. But with, I think uh, after, we, we, we actually measured before, and it's actually lose three cm. Yeah. Even and it was like, and it's not my water retention. It's really. No, it's, it's, it's fat. not. It's fat. Yeah, it's not. It's it's the fat. And then yesterday we tried, and I think I lose about six cm. I think it's probably more than yeah, that. More. You know, it's, because yeah, it's more than it was a big one. difference. You know, have behind behind. You see now she, that dress makes her bigger. <laughs> you know, but when you see her, she has started shaping up. Really, and I, it was it was yeah, very it obvious. was it was smaller here. I can feel it it's yeah. smaller here, and yeah. then I can see the shape is coming back. <laughs> if you back saw here. the back, I had to the picture. Okay, I'll show you. If, if she allows me, I don't know if she allows me. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I can. Okay, so this is just one treatment, but this guy was working out before, so he had some muscle kind of things. So, so that you see, this is visceral fat, guys. That's the problem. The problem is the visceral fat. Uh, this is a lady from India. Again, you can see that the belly lifted completely. Again, the, uh, it distorts it. It makes that one bigger than, um, um, if you saw it on the slide on my computer, it's, it's gonna be far, a little, much, much better. Uh, that's again, you can see the before and the after. 
and uh, that's um, actually they're a little reversed. I think they're reversed. Sorry. So that's the, the before and that's the after. And uh, this is the before and the after. You see the belly again is all the way down and how it's lifted. And this is not that many treatments, again, before and after. Now, a very important thing that you need to know, why is it that you cannot lose weight? Sometimes you diet, right? And then what you do, you give up, am I right? What happens? What happens is that the fat cells release their contents, they also release toxins. The toxins interfere with metabolism. They interfere with sex hormones, so you start getting more kind of, you know, so that's why you don't want to die, because you feel, you feel tired. Why? Because it interferes with everything in your body, your sex hormones, your gut hormones, but it also interferes with two, um, uh, two appetite hormones, leptin and ghrelin, and also adiponectin. And because it interferes with that, the dogs, the more toxic you are, the more hungry you are. <laughs> so when you do this technology, because this technology detoxes you, your hunger goes down. So you don't want to eat as much. And it balances your entire system, OK? So basically, it's a, it's a vicious circle, OK? So it, it, you, you eat. You get toxic because fat contains toxins, then the toxicity in the fat makes you more hungry, then you eat more. And then eating more brings you more fat and more toxins. It, it just goes round and round and round endlessly. And uh, this is a study that we did. What it does for some reason, this technology separates the red blood cells. This is the blood of people that live 50 years or 60 years, and this is the blood of people that live 100 years. Okay? Because it basically, it, 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 the blood transports the oxygen, nutrients, it transports uh, um, hormones, antibodies to the side of action. So it's gonna, it, it helps you remain healthy. Okay? And this is a, a study before and after. Again, I want you to see this in my computer. This lady was like this, and she was wearing these socks and all these other things. One treatment, she, she took the sock off, she didn't need the sock. <coughs> Another thing that it does that you can actually advertise that, because it's, it's very, very good, is in confidence. Uh, Jerry Pollock actually classified as a class two device in England for incontinence, for that specification. Um, obviously, we do not follow up on it, but that, that would, you know, so they did several studies, clinical studies, and uh, it does help with incontinence. It also helps sexuality. So women, as we're, as we're aging, the sexuality goes down. So yes, okay, you know, continue with intercourse, but it's like a choice. Like, okay, fine. You know. <laughs> the, the picture quite funny. The you picture know? quite safe. You know, okay, you can have another spin because today is your birthday. <laughs> So, but she's not getting it because most likely it's gonna be no sex, <laughs> okay? Because it's everything's no sex and only one sex, right? <laughs> so basically, what happens is that as you're aging, the collagen and the elastin from your genital your genitalia gets much less. So a lot of women get tears and they're uncomfortable during. So we have, the, and also there is bacterial infections and all these other things. So we do have the technology. You see, I, we compared here all the different technologies, and you can see the, uh, uh, actually if you read the new paper that I'm publishing, I went and I looked at all studies, and all these laser studies now, in 2019, FDA has stopped them to do vaginal rejuvenation because they have had several, several cases of people uh, with increased bleeding and uh, you know, other, you know, other excessive problems. So what you have here, you, with these two new technologies, you can do the laser if you want, but if you do these two technologies, it's gonna be the most anti-inflammatory technology that you can get in the market 
plus it will basically repair and enhance the sensation for the women. That's why I say empowered women. Because this is a technology that can make, it's not just for the men to feel good, it's for the women to feel good. That's important, okay? And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Now, everybody who wants to do a demonstration,